play the four and not the five. So, Bill, if you were coaching this team, how would you deploy AD? Well, first I would remind him that I was the coach and he's going to play where I want him to play. I, I think against certain teams he could be the four. If you're playing a team that uses a center like Embiid, maybe that's where you want to put the McGee-Howard types. But this team's destiny is with him at the five. They can go smaller. They're faster. LeBron is a natural four. And they're just better off. So I, I would trust the coach over Anthony Davis on where he should play. And let's face it, their best offense is with AD at the five. Yeah, and LeBron is a four. He's 6'9", 280. So if AD's at the four, then all of a sudden LeBron's at the three. And that, you know, they you, you can get too big and clumsy. So I, I think their destiny is with him at the five. Here are the five for the Lakers. LeBron is the three with Davis in at the four. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Contavious Caldwell-Pope. And it's Drummond in at the center spot. And for the Pacers, we've got Doug McDermott. Justin Holiday out there with T.J. McConnell. Then it's Demonis Sabonis. And it's Brissett in at the three. Pass to Davis. Back to James. Here's Caldwell-Pope. He's covered by Holiday. It's stolen by Holiday. Launches it. Gets the three ball to go. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. Back to James. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And here's James. Shot on the wing. And the shot goes in. You know, here's your problem. You've got to be able to close out hard to LeBron James because he knows he can score from there. This is his money shot. Here's Brissett. Now Holiday fires from deep. Drummond grabs the miss. Here's Caldwell Pope. The shot's good on the assist by James. It's incredible to me how remarkably in tune LeBron is with the movement of his teammates. The guy is a scorer, he's a creator, he's a force to be reckoned with. Well, Bill, there's been a lot of discussion about maybe changing the makeup of the regular season, playing some in-season competitions that would maybe result in a playoff spot. Where do you stand on all of that? I like the idea, except I've never been able to figure out what the incentive for the team should be. Because... You know, these guys are wealthy. They, You're not going to incentivize them by saying, hey, if you guys win this tournament, everybody gets to split $2 million bucks. You know, you have guys in the league that are making $40 million, $39 million, $38 million, and to expect them to be going all out unless there are real stakes, I don't see how you pull that off. Now, could you make the stakes? It's worth, you know, you, you don't have to play in round one. If you, if you win the tournament, something like that. I think there would have to be some sort of playoff stake, some sort of advantage that that year's team got. They're not going to care if it's like a lottery pick. Like, what, what would LeBron care if it was like, oh, your Lakers are going to get a lottery pick? It's like, what do I care? I'm trying to win the title. Um, so it's got to have to be something like that, some sort of carrot that would make it happen. I think if they could pull it off, it's a great idea. I don't know what the incentive is for. LeBron, not a prolific shot blocker, but when he wants to get it done, he is emphatic. Knocks down the long J. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Pass to Sabonis. McConnell outside. Picked by Sabonis. Can they get it? And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. One shot.
and stylistically, we're seeing the game change. Bill, you like the direction it's going, or are there any other changes you'd hope to see? I feel like we're swinging a little too far toward threes, but on the other hand, you look at the way the teams that truly succeeded played in the 2020 playoffs. Miami is a team that, yeah, they shot a lot of threes, but the ball moved, people were cutting. It was old school basketball. It was a lot more like what, how the Warriors played in 2015, 2016, 2017. Boston, same thing. When Hayward got back, the ball's moving and there's back cuts and things. It wasn't just guys hoisting threes. Denver's another one. The back cuts they would do with Jokic, things like that. So I do feel like even though we're in this run right now where it's like threes, 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 the more sophisticated offensive teams are still the ones that are winning for the most part. So hopefully sophistication will still reign. Well, McDermott with the tough floater. Wow, that's a big-time shot. Los Angeles has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Pass to James. Out of bounds. It'll be Pacers ball. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. Yeah, just a little intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Indiana has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Here's Brissett. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of nine from the floor. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Davis. James with the ball. Outside Davis. And Davis slams it home. And I'll tell you what, if you're going to mix it up with Davis, you better be on your game. He's so powerful inside. Free throw good from Davis. For Indiana, they've gone three of eight to get things underway. And the 2020 draft, the first time we saw the new flattened lottery odds. Bill, I know that was something you'd called for. You happy with the change? Yeah, I like that teams aren't rewarded for just throwing the season away. I still hated what the Sixers did when they threw away multiple years there. And it was the smart move because that's what the system allowed teams to do. I still would like to see relegation. I know it never happened, but I wish we had a soccer system where we had a 24-team league and the bottom six teams got relegated every year. And then you had to play your way back in in the G League. I, I, I have a whole master plan. I'll spring it on to you maybe later this year. I'll, I'll give you my whole master plan. I think relegation would work with the NBA. Ooh. Can't wait to hear about that. Harrell's checked in for Drummond. Davis, no good on that free throw. Stolen by Davis. Got it. James has got his second basket of the game. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Harrell against Sabonis. And no good. Good D by Harrell. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Here's Brissett. Back to McConnell. Shot clock at six. 
Sabonis with a screen on James. And stolen by Harold. Davis finds Schroeder. Here's Caldwell Pope. He has six. Let's it go. Outside for Davis. Second chance effort. And again, it's the Lakers. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Sabonis in the post. Harold defending. Shots good by Sabonis. And whether it's Harden, Doncic, you go around the league. The step back three is taking over. Anything going to stop that movement, Bill? Well, especially now that they allow four-step traveling, I don't see anything stopping it. Um, you know, you have a new generation of guys coming into the league who've been messing around with their shots since high school or their one year in college. And by the time they get in, it's just comfortable to them. It makes no sense to... Older guys like us because if you took this shot in the late 80s you'd be like what is that guy doing and now it just seems like this natural way to shoot threes i don't fully understand it older guys like you you mean yeah well, i tried to lump you in i you know i <laughs> didn't want to age shame myself and it's good fought through contact hit the shot and will go to the line Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That's good from Holiday. Here's Caruso. Pass to Kuzma. Here's Horton Tucker. Here's Caruso. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range. Harold down low. And down it goes. Two points. And the Lakers lead by 11. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Back to McConnell. Over to the left wing. Driving inside. Oh, denied by Harrell. Montrez Harrell, such a sharp defensive player, reads the opponent and sends it back. But they get it back. It's blocked. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Pass to Patadze. Here's Martin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Well, Bill, you've built quite the media empire over the last few years. Business is booming, huh? Yeah, you know, the ringer, we, we got bought by Spotify in 2020, and, and the whole audio thing has taken off completely. They're at the forefront of it. And we're up to a lot of stuff. It's been great. It's doing podcasts website documentaries all kinds of things and uh you know if you're creative there's a lot of outlets to be creative right now in the 2020s pass to martin hey expanding his range and the shot is good on the assist by holiday <laughs> that's how you up the ante come right back at him and you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays here's horton tucker the three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Pass to Patadze. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. 
And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. And he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. And the Lakers shooting at around 59%. Their offense is clicking right now. Indiana has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. 55 seconds left in the first. Pass to Sampson. From downtown. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Here's Horton Tucker. Kuzma outside. Here's Matthews. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Stanley. And that one is stuffed right through. And just a crafty move to get free for the dunk. Now, he's not just trying to score. He's trying to embarrass someone. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Kuzma. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Lakers lead by 11. Indiana's gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. McConnell outside. Pass to Stanley. The three ball. And again, it's Indiana with a three. And this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not. Like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. The baskets were coming early and often in the first quarter. The Lakers on top. They're up by eight. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. And already a solid scorer, Kyle Kuzma spoke with us about evolving his game. The biggest area of growth would definitely be on the defensive end and my playmaking ability. Um, this year I'm just trying to uh, be a consistent defender, um, find my teammates because um, I have so much attention offensively. So um, you know, I think those are two areas. Well, now having played with superstars, Kuzma is learning what it takes to win. He's getting only so many shots per game, so I applaud him for finding other ways to contribute with an eye toward the greater goal. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. We've got Demonis Sabonis, and it's Brissett in at the three. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Knocks it loose. It's blocked by Davis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Oh. 
Quarter number two and about a minute in. Here's Martin. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got five. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. You know, Bill, with social media, we get to see more personalities in the NBA. Who are some of the biggest characters in your opinion? Well, I think my favorite is Clay Thompson because he's completely authentic. You know, we've seen a lot of these guys have leveraged social media and the whole infrastructure, and they can kind of get out whatever kind of personality they want to craft, right? Clay Thompson is the same guy in all situations, beloved teammate. Sometimes I don't even think he knows why he's funny. He just kind of is who he is. He's like that dude in college, that roommate that everybody loved who was always funny and he fell asleep and he could put shaving cream on his face. And he's, he's just beloved. And I, I think he's done the best job of whoever we think he is as a public person is exactly who he actually is. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Sabonis. You know what? There, there seems to me to be an infectious energy when we're talking about Domantas Sabonis. This is a big man with a great future in the NBA. And the Pacers making a change here. Holiday has checked in. Sabonis drops them both. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Kuzma outside. Pass to Schroeder. And there's James from the arc. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got five rebounds in the game. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Here's Martin. Here's Holiday. Six points for him. Four on the clock. From deep. But they'll get another chance. Pass to Martin. Outside Holiday. Out to the right wing. Here's Brissett with the drive. James with the block. Kuzma finds James. Oh, deflected. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Just incredible. I mean, what muscle and balance. These tough finishes help Davis get into a rhythm. Free throw, good from Davis. Well, Bill, defenders can no longer step into a shooter's landing area, but shooters have found ways to manipulate that by drifting forward and or kicking out their legs. And I hate it. I really hate it. I hate two things the most right now in basketball. I hate this, and I hate four-minute challenges where referees are deciding whether something was a block or a charge and slowing things down to one one-hundredth of a second. I don't know why we have these two things. And... I can't believe we're rewarding guys for doing things during games that if you did during a pickup game and you just kicked your foot out into somebody, you, you probably have to be separated. But in basketball, it's considered gamesmanship now. And I just, I would personally make it a technical foul if they reviewed it and found that you did this intentionally or even kicked the guy out of the game just so it would stop. Please stop. Stop doing this. Boy, you cannot give Sabonis this kind of advantage. He's got the kind of touch and focus necessary to score it. James passes to Kuzma. Back to James. Kuzma outside. Pass to Schroeder. 17-foot shot on the way. Good. He hits the jumper. And the Lakers lead by five. Well, rhythm, confidence. When Schroeder is pulling the trigger, you know he's feeling it. 
Sabonis with it. Check by Davis. Sabonis can't hit. For Los Angeles, they've got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Now James from deep three-point range. Unable to get that one. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Holiday against Davis. And Holiday, here we go. And there's the rejection. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Martin. He's got five. Pass to McDermott. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. I think I like the skill set of Doug McDermott. He's a phenomenal shooter, and he's got tremendous range. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. And the Lakers with some changes. Andre Drummond comes in for Kuzma. And Caldwell Pope is subbed in for Caruso. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here's Schroeder. He's got seven. James, outside. Down low. Drummond finds James. Offensive rebound. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Here's Brissett. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. The Pacers making a switch here. McConnell's checked in. To the wing on the left. On the wing, Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Brissett. Fires for three. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. The Lakers in the lead. James, outside. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, it's incredible how capable he is from all areas on the floor. I mean, Davis is a scoring threat as soon as he touches the ball. Here's Brissett. Here's McDermott. Six points for him. Shoots over Davis. LeBron with the rebound. The Lakers shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Pass to Davis. Here's Caldwell Pope. 4-3. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Brissett. Holiday with the ball. Now here's McConnell. Sabonis with a screen on Schroeder. Here's McConnell. And the miss. Not the best shot selection there. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Schroeder with it. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. He took the contact and had an opportunity to drain it.
first one falls. So both teams changing it up here. And he makes both free throws. Indiana's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Pass to Sampson. Sabonis in the post. Carroll on him. Shots good by Sabonis. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. And here's Drummond. Double team on Drummond. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Over Holiday. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. Indiana trailing here. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Now Holiday. He has six. Clock at six. Here's McConnell. Stolen by Schroeder. Harrell with it. Shoots over Sabonis. Kept alive. This is the exact energy you like to see from Drummond. He can be a monster on the offensive glass. Well, Indiana shooting around 29% in quarter number two. It's stolen by Drummond. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, this season started later out of necessity, but there's been talks of permanently pushing the schedule back. Avoiding overlap with football would be a plus, but on the other hand, guys, the players who are parents, they want summer breaks with their kids too. Yeah, that's a lot to consider, Allie. Good stuff there. We'll see how it shakes out. Here's Holiday, and there's the drive, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Hey. If you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Matthews, he's checked in for the Lakers. Second free throw, no good. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Driving in. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on T.J. McConnell. That's a tenacious drive by Wes Matthews. Being rewarded for his aggressiveness with a trip to the strike. No good on that one. Well, you consider Wesley Matthews' career and his ability as a 3 and D guy to become critical in so many different rotations. What a career. And he's good on the second. Indiana's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. On the wing, Holiday from deep sinks the tray. Holiday's got nine points. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Schroeder passes to Drummond. He takes it in. Tips. And the official's now calling the shooting foul. He got a lot of ball on that blocked shot, but also got the body. So some free throws coming up right now.
That one misses. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. He hits the second from the line. Now here's McConnell. 23 points his last outing. Pass to Sampson. Over Harrell. Sampson's shot is off. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Outside Schroeder. No good on the triple. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. And here's McConnell. There's a screen. Oh, he tries a three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Drummond's got rebound number eight here already in the game. 149 left to play in the first half. Here's Horton Tucker. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. There's a minute 34 left in the first half of this game. Pass to Sampson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The officials were right on top of that one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. So both teams making some changes here. Both shots good from the strike. 125 left in the half. And thanks to our special guest, Bill Simmons, breaking it down for us as always. And I love being called a special guest. It's when I was growing up in the 70s, Love Bo, Fantasy Island, they always have special guests. It felt important, so I feel important right now, Brian. And you know what happened to the guests at Fantasy Island. Yeah, well, sometimes they never came back. What you appreciate about Bill, he works hard and has a wide variety of interests. Well, consider, Kev, Emmy nominated for his work in sports documentaries had a brief stint as a joke writer. Here is a guy who brings unique intellect and perspective to the conversation. No good on the free throw. Missing at the line can be contagious. Unfortunately for them, it's been a season-long issue. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. he can't get the second one to drop either coming up empty that time he does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line something he didn't do in the first period pass to Sampson Holiday with the ball from the arc gets the three to fall Holiday's got 12 boy he's putting pressure on the defense that's two from downtown this period there's 53 seconds left in the first half now here is Harrell. Out to the wing. Here's Matthews. Yes! And it's Harrell with the assist. Matthews gotten four this quarter. Well, vintage Wesley Matthews. I'm coming right back at you with my own three. Pass to Sampson. Outside Holiday. There's the steal. And here they come. Who poked away. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. McConnell outside. Left side, Holiday. Pass to Kuzma. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Batadze. 
Batadze's got rebound number five here tonight. And we finished off one half of play. Lakers ahead, up nine. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It was a big-time first quarter from Anthony Davis. He had 13 points, two assists, and three rebounds. Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? Well, their offense is depending on getting points in the paint, and they're getting those points. They're creating mismatches and being very aggressive when they get the one they want. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Pacers. Their lack of execution surprised me. You know, they had a lot of turnovers off sloppy ball handling, which goes back to the fundamentals. And I know we say it all the time, just make the simple play. And this is why. Without giving away possessions, they'd be a lot closer in this game. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. Oh, he's been their defensive anchor so far. Stifling shots left and right. If he is in the area, he's going to challenge your shot. He's going to block it, alter it. He's going to have an impact. Well, Grant, playing games in front of no fans must have been a huge adjustment for every player in the league last season. B.A., yes, indeed. It was a huge adjustment for all players. The energy in the building is what players feed off of. Whether it's at home, on the road, it just gets you going. It keeps you going. It makes it fun during those difficult moments. I have to give credit, though, to these players. They came out in spite of that and put up some incredible games. There were some just remarkable individual performances. They showed that they're professionals being able to go out and be effective, even without people in attendance. Yeah, no doubt the competition was elite. On the court for the Lakers. LeBron is the three with Davis in at the four. Contavious Caldwell Pope out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Drummond in at the five, down low. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Lakers in the lead. James finds Schroeder. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's covered by Holiday. Outside Davis. Back to James. Takes a three. Pacers with a rebound. Now McConnell. He's got five. Pass to Sabonis. Back to McConnell. Inside. Here's McDermott. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. He misses the free throw. He does not get the second one. Boy, that's not the result I would have predicted. Usually you can take those to the bank when he's at the line. Outside Davis. 
Back to James. And they call an illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Indiana has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. The shot by Holiday, no good. Los Angeles shooting around 44%. Not bad. Well, when you watch Anthony Davis play, Grant, he just moves like someone only half his size. Think about this, B.A. He has the gait and quickness of a guard. And, of course, everyone knows that he was a point guard well into his high school career. But he grew almost a foot in a few years and became the player he is today. Back to McConnell. Pass to Holiday. Drives to the hoop. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First one falls for him. And so he hits both. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Here's Caldwell Pope. Ten points for him. Here's Drummond. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Holiday from long range. Schroeder with a rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Up top, Davis. Here's James. Outside for Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. Davis has got 16 points. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Drummond against Sabonis. Pass to McDermott. Beyond the arc. Indiana again missing. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Now here's Drummond. He's guarded by Sabonis. The shot by Drummond. No good. For Indiana, they've gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Sabonis against Drummond. Holiday from long range. Can't get it to drop. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 14. James. Oh, oh, that's oh a bad my. Man right there. Wow. That is why the ticket price is what it is when LeBron is in town. Amazing dunk to finish the play. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. McDermott. And the three pointer goes. Nine points in the game. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Outside Davis. James passes to Davis. Schroeder into the lane. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Boy, last season, Grant, Schroeder really improved his poise. He took his time, and it paid off. Yeah, B.A., it led to better shots and, of course, better accuracy. And you could see the confidence his coach had in letting Schroeder do his thing. That's a player Shoot who's two. earning his coach's trust. And he knocks down the first one. 
Grant, you were known for your all-around play. In your mind, right now, who's the most versatile wing in the game today? B.A., hands down, it has to be LeBron James. He is the gold standard for a number of things in the game, but particularly versatility. His ability to be a facilitator, to play point, to post up, to defend, to lead, uh, and, of course, to put up a lot of points as well. He epitomizes what versatility is in today's game. Would you call him the king of the wings? You could say that. <laughs> Six to shoot. Stolen by Davis. Now the Lakers moving it up. Shots good by Schroeder. Schroeder's got 10 points in the game. Boy, there are not many players in a league who are going to be faster than Dennis Schroeder in the open floor. Pass to Sabonis. Outside Holiday. Pick by Sabonis. Here's McDermott. The three. And Davis with the block. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. That's just perfect execution. Nice job hustling, and as a result, he gets rewarded with the bucket. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Pass to Brissett. Here's McDermott. Six on the shot clock, and the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his third foul of the game. The Pacers making a switch here. McConnell outside. Clock at six. Pass to Brissett. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Here's Sabonis. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. 12 points for him. This is a real strength of DeMontis Sabonis' game. He has such nice, soft touch. And here's Schroeder. He's marked by McConnell. Here's Caldwell Pope. 12 points for him. Here's Schroeder. Pacers with a rebound. Sabonis has got a rebound number 15 here tonight. McConnell outside. And he drives in. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. James passes to Davis. Right side, Schroeder. Back to Davis. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. The Pacers have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Pass to Brissett. Here's Martin. Here's McConnell. Ooh, poor shot selection there. Not a high percentage look for him. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. And there's James from the arc. Can't hit that one. He needs to look to try to drive inside and get going. That outside shot is simply not there. Pass to Sabonis. McConnell outside. Switch, 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 switch. Over James. McConnell, good. McConnell's got seven. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. The Lakers call timeout. Pass to Horton Tucker. Back to Davis. 
Here's Horton Tucker. Shot clock at six. Got a hand on it. McConnell with it. He's got seven. Pass to Patadze. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Here's Caruso. Here's Horton Tucker. And the baseline jumper goes down. Give him eight points now. Yeah, just late help on the defensive side. I mean, just another breakdown for them. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Sabonis against Davis. Pass to Patadze. Here's McConnell. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. The Lakers have gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Outside Davis. Now Kuzma fires the three. It's rebounded by Batadze. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. Now here's McConnell. He's covered closely. That one is off. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Here's Kuzma. Tries again. And he lays it in. And the Lakers lead by 14. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Sabonis. Rebound, the Lakers. Kuzma's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Caruso. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Caruso. Knocks it down from distance. Caruso's got six. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Sabonis. And Davis with the block. Out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. Matthews, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. A minute 58 left in the third. Pass to Sampson. Six to shoot. Here's Batadze. Harold defending. McConnell's shot is off. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Kuzma outside. A minute 31 left in the third quarter. There's the triple. No luck on that one. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Now here's McConnell. He has seven. Sabonis in the post. Defended by Kuzma. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. That'll send Damana Sabonis to the free throw line. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. When you watch DeMontis Sabonis play, you cannot help to see all the ways he can impact an offense. With his passing, with his offensive rebounding, and with his shooting. This guy gives you everything you want from a post player. And Doris with Sabonis, he's always a triple-double threat whenever he plays. He is B.A. Last year, he had a handful of triple doubles, and I would not be at all surprised to see plenty more in the future. He's got a great sense for the game. Let's remember, he's been around the game because of his father since his formative years. The great Arvita Sabonis, good, good lineage there. McConnell's shot is off. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. 
He slams it home and gets some extra camera time chilling on the rim. <laughs> yeah, he did spend a little time up there, didn't he? Pass to Martin. Now Sabonis. Defended by Kuzma. Snatched away. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Matthews. Up and in on the layup. Matthews got six. Well, Wes Matthews navigating through contact, connecting on these shots. That's nice. Sabonis outside. Pass to Patadze. Looking to get back on track. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. He's off on the first. And the second free throw is good. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Lakers ahead, leading by 17. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Damata Sabonis out there with Doug McDermott. Then there's Justin Holiday. Then there's T.J. McConnell. And it's Brissett in at the small forward position. That's the five for the Pacers. Well, Grant, you grew up no stranger to professional sports. Now, your dad had a distinguished career as a running back. How'd that help you become an NBA player? Well, aside from the fact that my dad told me to shoot, shoot my two. free throws and use the backboard... <laughs> it really did help a lot, Brian. Uh, at a young age, to be around the game, in the locker room, on the sidelines, to understand what it means to be a professional, how hard you have to work, the dedication, the sacrifice. Having seen that and experienced that as a child, I think really helped me understand what was necessary and what needed to happen in order to become a professional basketball player. Hey, and shout out to Calvin for sticking with the fundamentals, too. <laughs> And that's good as he hits both shots. A challenging stretch for Indiana here. Pass to McDermott. Takes it inside. And the bucket is good. We know Doug McDermott can make threes. If you can put it on the deck like he does there, you become a tough cover. Here's Caruso. No stopping him there. Jams it in, and he's fouled. An opportunity in a three-point play. It's on T.J. McConnell. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers.
One shot. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. The Pacers shooting only 39% so far in the game. Pass to Sabonis. McConnell outside. Holiday with the ball. Let's it go from the wing. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. The offensive rebound. And the basket is good. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And here's McConnell. Pass to Sabonis. Here's McDermott. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. In an era of social media, Grant, even referees are jumping in, trying to illustrate to fans why certain calls are made, where you stand on transparency. It's all about transparency, B.A. Look, they don't come over to clarify these calls because they like us, <laughs> although we're, we're pretty good guys. Well, you are. Uh, but it's all about the theme of the NBA, being transparent, making sure the fans at home understand uh, why a call is made. I love it. I think it's a fantastic uh, addition that the league has made. Well, we saw it in the bubble, the way they're explaining calls, and with an open mic, not just for us to relay the information, but now we can hear it directly from the official. And so he makes both from the line. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Pass to James. And here's Davis. Now Schroeder. Clock at six. Drops one in from the wing. Well, Dennis Schroeder taking advantage of the pick and roll action. Very good decision maker. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Here's Brissett. Checked by James. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by James. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Pass to McConnell. Here's Brissett. Checked by James. From 15 feet away, Brissett's shot is good. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. James passes to Schroeder. Well, they say history is written by the victors. In the NBA, the champions get the lion's share of the credit. All right, Doris, do we overlook the greats who never won it? Well, this is a fan's debate. For me personally, I loved watching John Stockton and Carl Malone play in their pick-and-roll game. Patrick Ewing was one of my favorite players when he was at Georgetown and for the New York Knicks. Allen Iverson is an iconic person in the history of NBA basketball. So for me, I can separate the lack of a championship while appreciating a great career. And he can't get the first one. Andre Drummond is checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for Caruso. Good on the second one. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. James passes to Davis. 
James outside. Right side, Schroeder. Now here's Davis. Defense is right there. The Pacers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Holiday. There's the three. He drops it from range. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. The Lakers have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. And he lobs it up. And finished off by Davis. And yeah, for AD tonight, it's really been a common theme. Just no one out there has been able to match his incredible energy. Oh, Drummond with a block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. This one for three. And again, it's Indiana with a three. For Los Angeles, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. James with the ball. On the wing, Davis. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Davis has gotten four this quarter. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. The Lakers have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Pass to Schroeder. Outside Davis. Back to Schroeder. On the take. Oh, Sabonis with a block. Improving on the defensive end as well. DeMontis Sabonis getting tenacious there with the block shot. Here's McDermott. Up top, Sabonis from behind the arc. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. Well, the Lakers shooting just around 45% on the fourth. Outside Davis. Outside Schroeder. Back to Davis. It's James on the wing. Drummond with the screen. Oh, and the jam by James. Yeah, not a lot to be done if LeBron gets a solid screen in a pick and roll set like that one. Pass to Brissett. To the wing, right side. 13 feet out. It falls. 5 for 11 in the game. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Outside Davis. Here's Drummond. Sub bonus with some nice D. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Here's Brissett. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Two, two. He makes a first. So hits one and misses one at the line. The Lakers have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. James finds Davis. Pass to James. Get LeBron, get LeBron. Out to the right wing. Now here's Schroeder. Defense right on it. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. 
That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. Well, Dennis Schroeder over the years, boy, as he started to harness all that energy and talent. Shooting two. And he drops a first. Well, Grant, the issue of load management became a big topic in the past few years. What's your take on the regular rest for a lot of big-time players? Well, B.A., I'm a big believer in rest and recovery throughout the course of an 82-game season. I mean, it is such a long season. There's so much wear and tear, the travel, uh, the pace of the season, the amount of games. So I'm all for that, although I think it's sometimes we've gotten a little too far where uh, we err on the side of too much rest and too much load management. So I hope the pendulum swings a little bit back where, yes, we emphasize it uh, and we enforce it, but we don't go too far with it. I feel like it, it's not great for the game. It's not great for the fans. Uh, it's supposed to be hard. The season is not supposed to be easy. And so I'm a big fan of it, but we just have to be careful it doesn't get too far out of control. On the wing, Davis. Here's James. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Yeah, the easy lift on the jumper by LeBron. That, that's really hard to defend, guys. Here's Brissett. Pass to Holiday. Let's the three fly. Fires in the triple. Holiday's got six in the quarter. Well, picking up where he left off. His second from distance is half five overall. Schroeder finds Davis. Outside Schroeder. Back to James. Outside Schroeder. Takes the three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. And he gets it to go. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Outside Holiday. McConnell outside. Pass to Sabonis. Oh, Drummond with a block. And he gets it back. And it's good for two. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's covered by Holiday. Here's James. And again, it's the Lakers. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Pass to Brissett. To the middle. Here's Sabonis. Oh! oh <laughs> Don't you just love watching DeMontis Sabonis get to his spots? This guy's so creative on the offensive end. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's stolen by Holiday. For the finish. Throws it down. And the official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on Schroeder. The Pacers making a switch here. Free throws off from Holiday. And the Lakers shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. James outside. Pass to Drummond. The shot's good on the assist by James. And the Lakers lead by 15. I'll tell you, if LeBron never scored a point, he'd still be valuable to an offense. How good a pass is that? McConnell goes in. That one, no good. Oh, nice D from Schroeder. It's James on the wing. And he gets the bucket. 
James has got 10 points in just the second half. Well, six foot eight and 200. Who knows how many pounds, but the king, one of the most apropos nicknames in sport. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. And Sabonis, no good on that one. You know, one area where Andre Drummond has improved is at the free throw line. And check this out, B.A. In his first five years in the league, he shot below 40% from the free throw line. The last handful of seasons, over 50%. Now that's cut down a little bit on the hack -a shack strategy from opposing teams. Looking to close things out, that might have been the nail in the coffin. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Boy, when you think about Andre Drummond, you think in historically great rebounder. I mean, guys, over the last half decade, the guy leads the league in double doubles. Year in, year out, the top individual rebounder in the game. He gets it in there. Minute 32 left in the final quarter. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Lakers. And a big part of their success was the second chance buckets they secured tonight. Yeah, it's just proof that being aggressive on the boards can pay game-winning dividends. And how about this, Doris? For his career, Andre Drummond with more rebounds per game than the great Dennis Rodman. Just think about that, B.A., the guy most associated with that skill, and it comes so naturally to Andre. What a remarkable athlete. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Schroeder finds Drummond. Here's Caldwell Pope. 46 seconds left in the final quarter. Yes, it's good. And the Lakers lead by 20. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Pass to Sabonis. Jacks up a three. James with the rebound. On offense, here are the Lakers. Schroeder passes to Drummond. James outside. Davis down low. And he comes up with a bucket. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. Now McConnell. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with AD, and tonight you guys seem locked in. What was the key? Well, we came out aggressive defensively and offensively, and against a team like that, you know, you got to come out aggressive defensively first, and I think we did that through the whole 48. Okay, great defense so often leads to great offense, and it worked tonight. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.